Okay, so we'll jump into this. Um, again, you can do this all on your iPhone, but you pull up Sales Rabbit. It's gonna be four tabs on the bottom. Now, Sales Rabbit is our method of tracking who we talk to, when we talk to them, and what they told us. That's all it is. It's our pinning app. It's our platform of being able to work a neighborhood and be strategic and make more money. So um, let's click this. Now, this is after you've gotten a login. If you haven't had one yet, we will get you a login. Just text me or Russ and we will get you set up. But um, you go to the homepage, you're going to see our Ion Texas logo. You can see my stats, my appointments. You don't have to worry about this, but my stats is pretty cool because on the day, it lets you see how many leads you've created, um, how many leads you've created over the past 30 days, how many dispositions, which this is just like appointments that you've given a certain disposition, but leads created. Basically, it tells you like how many doors you've knocked um, and per the day, per the 30 days, and then lead dispositions for the past 30 days. If you click this little settings bar, this will click sync to default calendar. You don't have to do this. Um, map, click on user location path if you wanna see your path of where you go. You don't really need it on, but you can put it on if you want. This one's really cool, display lead names. Turn that one on. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then I'll go ahead and click presentation mode so you can see as I uh, show you stuff. But that's it. Now, that's the homepage. Messages, you never need to do that. We don't use this. Sales Hub, this is the most important part. Um, tools, you don't really need to use this, but in case you need a sketchboard, you can do this and you can draw and do whatever you want if you need to show something to a customer or whatever. I don't know, if you wanna show them how the panels look or something, whatever. Uh, I don't ever use this. Most people never ever use this, so yeah. Go back, um, sales materials, again, never need to use that. Leaderboards though, this is cool. You can see on the day, I'll show you yesterday, uh, what yesterday's stats were, just because today isn't over. But you can see RFPs uh, throughout Texas, and you can see all of our Texas offices. Dallas had uh, 25 RFPs yesterday, Austin 19, San Antonio 15. You can click this and you can see per person. Zane with uh, none, but had 22 conversations. I was actually out with him. He had a, a lot of follow-ups. Um, Lee with one, Evan with three, Jackson with four, Ricky with none, myself with three, Tieran with one, Brandon with uh, actually had one, Russ with two, and then Robbie down here with one. So you can check all that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool to see. You can do that for every market. You can see where everyone's at uh, across the state. So. Now let's go to Sales Hub. This is the most important part. You don't really ever need to click street. You don't really ever need to click leads. But map, this is what you're gonna be using on a daily basis. So before I zoom in and show us a neighborhood, this is pretty much a zoom out view of San Antonio of, uh, as you can see, we're all over the city. If you wanna search a certain street, like let's just say a street that I was at yesterday, if you wanna put, uh, it's called Viente Dulce. You can search that, it'll take you to that street. You can see I have quite a few pins in this street. That's what the zoom function does, right? Now, this allows you to lay out a route. You don't need to do this. Um, it's an extra step, but not super important. This allows you to kind of draw an area if you wanna draw some stuff, but you don't need to do this because we'll circle out and we'll draw areas for you. Now, that's those three functions on the left. This one on the right, this little uh, map uh, button, if you click that, that allows you to do a couple things. You can see street view of the map. You can do a hybrid view of the map. And you can do a satellite view of the map. I like to do hybrid because it gives you street names. If you just do satellite, no street names. Hybrid, street names. Keep it on hybrid. Um, if you click this button, it'll show you where you are. Like, let's just say... I zoom all the way to the south side, and then I'm here. I pull up to a neighborhood, and let's see, let's just say I'm gonna knock this on the south side, but I want this to take me back to where I actually physically am. And then this will take you back to where you are. So I'm in my apartment, that's where I am. Um, now display my areas, you can turn this on, you'll be able to see your assigned areas. So um, as we assign you neighborhoods and areas, you'll be able to see you can click this, check whose it is. It says Novi Cortez, and you'll be able to see your areas. Um, that's, that's all that. Now, if you click this, 
plus button. It allows you to basically enter a lead regardless of where you are, but don't ever really need to use that. This though, this lead menu is how you drop pins. Now I'm gonna show you this as we pull up to a neighborhood. So let me zoom in or zoom out and then find a neighborhood. This is how San Antonio looks. Let's zoom in here go to this neighborhood right next to me. So we're here, Palo Duto Canyon. Let's just say I'm knocking this street and I start right here on this corner house. Well, once I knock the door, let's just say the person didn't answer. I'm gonna pull up lead menu. I'm gonna click NA because this means no answer one. Now I'm gonna run you through these options really quick. RFP, this stands for ready for proposal. It's a blue check mark because that means we set an appointment, we got their bill, we got their info, boom, job done, you got one, solid. As you can see right here, even in the group chats, you can see RFP1, um, hell yeah, <laughs> right, RFP2, and that's a picture of their utility bill. That's how you get an RFP. If you get one, you're gonna click that RFP button and you're gonna drop a lead there, right? Follow up, this is if you knocked their door and they said, I'm super interested, but come back, now's a bad time or come back, I'll get you my utility bill when my wife is home or when my husband's home, whatever. Or, hey, I'm super busy right now, I'm done working at four, come back and follow up with me like in the evening if you knock their door in the morning. And I, this means not interested. If you talk to them, they say, nah, I'm good, cool. Drop that pin, don't knock it again. And A1, this means no answer one. You knock their door on a Monday, they didn't answer. You go back on a Tuesday, still didn't answer, it's gonna be NA2. You go back on a Wednesday, still didn't answer, it's a NA3. NQ, this is not qualified if someone is a renter because we don't sell solar to people who rent their house or if they straight up tell you, hey, I tried going solar in the past but my credit is you know, terrible. Um, cool, they are not qualified. Solar home, this is if they already have solar on their roof, right? So like this one over here, um, there's a house down here with panels on it that I saw earlier, this one. It's a solar home, I'm gonna click that. That's what I would use on that house, right? Um, ORFP, if you're in a neighborhood and for whatever reason you forgot to pin it, and let's just say this house right here, you got them, but it was an old appointment, but you forgot to pin it, put that so you don't knock their door again and it just doesn't make a weird conversation because they're like, hey, you already knocked my door uh, like two weeks ago, why are you back, <laughs> right? Sold, this is if a customer, you knock their door Monday, the closer goes on Tuesday, and they sold and you go back on Wednesday, you can turn that from a blue check mark to a green check mark because they went from an RFP to a customer who sold. Then you go back in a week or in a two weeks, three weeks are actually more realistic. You go back in a month and they now have panels on the roof. They are now an ion solar installation, right? And then this DNS, this means did not sit, but you don't have to worry about that one. This one gets in, uploaded into the system automatically, but you will never need to use this pin. So we're knocking a neighborhood, right? We're here, we start on this corner, we're gonna go all the way down Cap Canyon from right to left. First door, this person doesn't answer. Cool, I'm gonna put NA1, bam, drop that. Second door, this person told me to follow up. Cool, I'm gonna put a follow up. Now what you typically wanna do on a follow up is put some notes in, right? Um, talked to wife named Julie. said to talk to husband to Tim after 5 p.m. Boom. Do that, and then you know next time you go back, you need to talk to Tim after 5 p.m. And then you can knock the door. Hey, how's it going, sir? Are you Tim? Cool, hey, I just finished talking to Julie a little while ago, and they'll probably know, so you'll be able to kind of continue that conversation and most likely get an RFP from there. So that's a follow-up pin. Next house, we knock it, they say not interested. Cool, it's all good, they're lost. Even though their roof is pretty good for solar. Next door, um, let's just say you go back on a Tuesday, right? And you need to put an NA2. You'll go back and you hit this door on Monday, but you go back again on Tuesday and they didn't answer again, you can change it to NA2. It's a no answer two, right? Now, this door though, let's move on. They tell you they're renting and they're gonna move out soon, but they don't own the house. Not qualified, right? Next house, they have solar panels. So I'll go back to this example that we were at earlier. You come up and sometimes you can't see the panels. 
So if you can see on the map though, that you're at this house and you're about to hit this one, right? If you walk by, you'll maybe be able to see them. But if you're coming this way, left or right to left, you may not be able to see the panels, but you can see it from the map. So you can put SH, solar home, drop that there so you don't knock it, right? Because they already have panels. Now we're back on this street. After this not qualified, we knocked the next door and they were an old RFP that you got, but you forgot to pin, all right? You can put that and then it'll look the same as an RFP, but when you click it, it'll say old RFP, right? So you can get that out of there. Next house, um, you knock their door Monday, a closer goes on Tuesday and now they are sold. They're an Ion Solar customer, right? Um, most of the time, the way it's going to look is you're going to get someone who was an RFP. You're going to pin it as an RFP. And then what you're going to do is the next day, you're going to go back because they sold. And then you're going to do sold. And you can change it, right? Either way, um, they are now a customer. Now, in a month, you go back and now they have their panels on. Their ion solar panels. You're going to put, boom, ion system. And what you can do too is when you know the customer name, you can change it by clicking this pencil, but I'll show you that in a second. Now, what's most important here is this is again what you can use to track all of your pins and see everything in a neighborhood, right? I'll give you an example. If we zoom out and we go to a neighborhood that's already been pinned, like this one over here, you can see it's got name, Christopher Smith right here. You click that right over here. And you can see notes. I am the setter on there. It has the address, the customer name, um, and uh, owned by Brandon Borkowski because he was the closer, but I was the setter. And you can see um, when the appointment was set, January 27, 2021, um, 1 a.m. That's not right, but this is already systematically uploaded, so you don't have to worry about any of that. But let me just show you over here, a neighborhood I was at yesterday. So same street, Viente Dulce. I'm gonna click this street. Now the reason it's green is because this is my area. If you wanna get rid of that color, you can click that display my areas off so it doesn't look weird and green. But here's my pins, right? So I went around this neighborhood and you can see, I started here on Rosa Glen, not interested, not interested, not interested, right? Sometimes it happens, didn't care though. It didn't let me throw me off. RFP there, uh, no answer there, RFP there. No answer, not interested, not interested, and then RFP there, right? Now, this person, Miranda Olveda, the appointment, I knocked her door Monday. The appointment was for Tuesday at 6.30. And today's Wednesday, if you don't believe me, you can see this up here, Wednesday, December 1st. She, her appointment ran last night. And just for proof, you can see on this customers, I click con for contract, Miranda and John Olveda. Lead, sit, con, she closed, right? So now I'm gonna go here on the map and I'm gonna change it from an RFP to sold. And then once her panels are installed, I will put a black eye on check mark, but now she sold. So I can go back and once I talk to this person, I can tell them, hey, Miranda Oveda, yeah, uh, we got her, she sold. So that's an example there, right? Now, if you get an RFP, once you're in a neighborhood, you're gonna click this pin again, you're gonna click RFP, and you're gonna, let's just say I get this house on the corner. Click RFP, first thing I do is when I'm there at the house, I immediately write down the day they told me they could set an appointment for. So let's just say I knock it on Wednesday, they say we can do Thursday at 5 p.m. Cool, I'm gonna save that so I don't forget it because at the door in the middle of conversation, sometimes you can forget stuff like that. Next, um, and this is after I've gotten all their info, as I'm at the door, I like to get their info here. Or I like to pin and put the appointment time and then I literally pull up Sunsetter on my phone and then as I start entering their info immediately. If you're not very savvy of functioning between two apps at once, what some of our setters do, actually what most of our setters do is they do this. They just get everything on Sunsetter, on SalesRabbit because they're already using it and it just makes it easier. Um, all right, sir, just really quick. I need some basic info before I leave. What's your first name? Uh, Mark. Awesome, Mark. What is your wife's name? So we can get her on the report as well. Uh, Mark and Cynthia. And then what's your last name? Gonzalez. Um, and then what's a good phone number for you, Mark? 210-444-3145. Sweet. And then what was your address? I'm going to ask, is it 21714 Valencia Rose? 
He's gonna say, oh, no, it's actually 21716. Cool, 21716 Valencia Rose. Um, and then I've already gotten his utility bill, right? Um, awesome, and then how long have you guys been in the home? Just report building questions, right? They've been in the home two years. Um, and then after this, that's basically all you need, right? You have all that info there, and then you're gonna use that to enter a customer in on Sunsetter. But go watch the Sunsetter video to get more details on that. Um, and then what I'm gonna do after is just so you can get the name displayed is you click this pencil, and on first name, you're gonna click Mark and Cynthia, and then on the last name, Gonzalez, all right? Go back, and now on the map, you can see it's Mark and Cynthia Gonzalez. And this is cool, because as you're knocking doors, let's say I, say I knock their neighbor, I can see their name, and I can say, hey, I just finished talking to Mark and Cynthia, and it just gives you that open introduction, that way you can carry the conversation better, right? Now we're almost done. Last thing, when you're knocking a house, a neighborhood like this, where the map doesn't quite show the house is built, as you can see right here, I dropped a pin, because there's a physical house, but the neighbor, their house isn't quite built on the map. I'm still gonna drop a pin though, but when I click this, let's just say there were a no answer, I'm gonna drop a pin, and let's just say the address shows up something, actually I'll go over here and it shows something super wonky and weird. Um, I'll go back to the street I was at yesterday. This is, might be a better example. So right here, when you're in a neighborhood where it's not quite developed, like it's literally dirt, you can see we still drop pins because there are houses there like in real life, but on the map, they're not built. So let's just say you knock Lashika Banks' neighbor right here and you drop a no answer pin. When you drop that, here's what it's gonna show. Under address, it's gonna say 4605 North Abbott Road, and that is wrong. The reason you need to have the right address is because when someone goes back or when you go back, or let's just say someone else is in that neighborhood and they wanna knock that no answer, it's gonna be kind of hard because the map can show pins in different places but we need the right house number. So for example, like this one right here, I knocked. When I knocked it, I changed the address to 4730. So as you can see, Lashika's is 4605 North Abbey Road. That wasn't right either, I should have fixed that. But when you're gonna drop a pin here, after you knock the door and you see on the house, it says 2607, right? You click this pencil, all you gotta do is click X and then put 2607. You only need to do that again when you're knocking a dirt plot and there's not a, uh, you don't even need to put the street name, just put the house number and it'll save. And when you click this, it'll show 2607. So that you at least know what house number is according to the correct pin, you know, and it just allows us more functionality. But other than that, that's it. That's how you use SalesRabbit. That's how you pin a neighborhood. Here's what it should look like, right? Once you've dropped lots of pins, you know, you'll see tons of check marks, tons of blue. You'll see some blacks. These are installs already, but it's going to take a while for us to fill this up just because there's lots of houses um, and there's lots to still be developed. As you can see, none's built here, but we'll go back in a couple months and we'll fill this up. So that's how it's supposed to look, right? Um, that's it. Any questions you have, watch this video two, three more times. Should be able to answer everything.